Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I have come up with one of the most simplest logic building problems that is calculating the sum of powers of digits. So the problem is you will be given a number and you must find the sum of powers of digits from the given number. That is each digit of the number is raised to the power of next digit on right side of the number and the rightmost digit in the given number should be raised to power of 0 as it's not going to have any digit to its right side. So this is what the problem statement is. I have taken two of the test cases. In example 1, I have taken a number 89854486 and the output you should return is 1792439 how you got this output the explanation is given beside here you can see as mentioned each digit should be raised to the power of the digit to its right side and the last digit should be raised to the power of 0 so if you Compute this particular expression, you will be getting this particular output. Similarly, in the example 2, I have taken 9724671667, whose output should be returned as 5511308. And again, the explanation, you can find the expression beside it. So, this is what the problem, it's very simple. So, you just need to acquire digit by digit from the given number, and then you need to compute the sum of powers of digits and return the sum value. So let me first show you my code and then you can further think of optimizing this particular code. So let me run the test cases first. So I have copied the first example. So there you can see you are getting it. And similarly let's do with the second one also. And here I go. So here you can see both the test cases are passing and it will pass for any of the test cases. And coming to my code, as I have previously said in my last videos also, you are not going to read any input in the placement exam. You are going to start writing from here. And I have taken for loop purpose and sum for calculating the sum purpose. And here I have taken a string and then I have appended the given input to the empty string so that I can acquire digit by digit and then perform the power function. For that reason, I have taken a string. In case if you are comfortable with doing while input 1 greater than 0, input 1 modulus 10, input 1 divided by 10, you can go with that expression also, it's up to you. But I felt using a string will be much simpler. So that's the reason I'm using a string here in order to get digit by digit. So AR I have taken in order to acquire digit by digit from the given input. And that this particular block, you can understand how I'm acquiring digit by digit by using the inbuilt function. And then this particular block, I am using to compute the power of each digit raised to the power of the digit to its right side. And this loop I am running 1 less than the total length of the input digits. Because the last one is not going to have right side digit. So it should be raised to the power of 0. That's why I am running 1 less than the length of the total input digits. And since the last digit should be raised to power of 0, anything raised to power of 0, it will be 1. That's why I am directly writing this expression sum equal to sum plus 1. And this particular result, since it is on my desktop, I am displaying it in the placement exam. You can just replace the system.out.print by return statement. So this is my solution to this problem sum of powers of digits.
you can check out the description box for other logic building problem solutions i'll come up with one more logic building problem in my next video thanks for watching